Well, welcome everybody, Bart and Stacy from The Sound Couple. And in today's video, this is our second video that we're talking about our new Personas CDL 10P and Sub 18. The first one we did was an unboxing video. If you haven't seen that video, please check that out as we show you what the experience of what it's like to take these out of the box, what they look like, what comes in the box. And today we're gonna to talk more about the features of the cabinets. So we're gonna show you around the front and the back, show you the LCD and the different controls. But going back to our unboxing video, what was the first thing that you noticed? I noticed unboxing the CDL 10P was that this is made out of polypropylene and the sub 18 is made out of the eucalyptus plywood which for the sound couple, that means that this is our very first non-wood cabinet. To these ears, it's gonna take a little bit of convincing, <laughs> but in the garage here so mm -hmm. far, this cabinet sounds fantastic in conjunction with the Sub 18. But once we get it out of the gig, that'll be the time where it'll convince me whether or not that this can hold up to a wood cabinet. Mm -hmm. What was it something else that you noticed? That even before taking it out of the box was the size of the box. This is a much more compact cabinet than I'm used to. It only weighs in at 47 pounds and the subs are at 105 pounds. This was a great move by Personas here to get a lighter weight cabinet, same form factor. The CDL 10P has a 10 inch woofer with six high frequency drivers in it. And it's a great solution for us when we're doing wedding ceremonies, smaller gigs. If you stack two of these on top, I think we're getting darn close if not exceeding what one CDL 12 could do. So I'm excited to try these out at the gig. What else have you noticed, Stacy? Well, out of the box, you get the cabinet itself and the power cable. And were you expecting more? Well, <laughs> you never know, but there, there are optional accessories you can get with it, which are the speaker covers, the casters, yep, the subcasters, and then also the flyware. No plans on flying these anytime <laughs> soon, but yeah, we're going to probably check into some covers and casters. Mm -hmm. We'll just take it step by step, but those are available. You can look on the Personas website if you, were gonna, if you get the cabinets and you want the covers. I would recommend covers for sure. All right, everybody, that is enough on, on talking about these. Let's get into these a little bit and see what these cabinets are about. I want to take a moment and just go over the exterior of the cabinet. You have the steel grill on the front, and that is solid. This whole cabinet is solid, guys. Now, for those that you haven't seen these cabinets or what these look like in the inside, in the center here, there's a 10 inch woofer, and then down the center here is the, is the high frequency drivers, and there's six of them in, a, in an array. And that is, helps get the coverage, the even coverage dispersion throughout in conjunction with the design of how the ports here are on the side. I can speak from experience that this design really works, really gets the coverage that is needed for a lot of these rooms that we're playing. One of the nice things about this cabinet, it has really nice rubber feet on here and that's what you wanna set these cabinets on. I would not recommend setting these on the side. That's the one thing about an enclosure like this is that I think it's going to be a little bit more prone to scratches. So it's nice that you got these feet here to make sure you're able to set them down safely. The cabinet has the power con connectors for the power hookup. And these are by Citronic. These are not Neutrik, which most of us are used to seeing. But, you know, they look okay. And as long as, as, long as they work, I think that's the most important thing. So you have the power in and out, you got the on and off switch, and then you have the input, XLR input, and the XLR output. Now one of the things I really like is just how straightforward it is. It's really easy to operate and everything is pretty intuitive. So you just have the one knob and you rotate to set the volume. It would be maybe nice if this went a little bit faster, but it'll get you where you need to go. And then to access the menu, you just push and there's your menu. And there's just a few selections in here. You can set your array mode, whether it's one box, two box, and so on. 
It has a high pass filter and that's just on or off. You have your sub model and what this does is these are presets that pers for persona subs. So we have the sub 18, they have the air 18s and the ULT 18s and the CDL 18S and off. So we'll put it back to our sub 18. It has a brightness knob and a contrast knob, system reset, and then the system info. So once you're done making all the settings you, you need, you can just go up, press the exit button. Now the change is when you, when you do make a settings change, it does do that in real time. But then you have the option at the very end of whether or not you want to save it or not. So that's, to me, that's kind of nice to have that confirmation. So if you don't like what you just did or you weren't sure, you can just hit no and nothing changed. Press it again and you're right back into the menu and you can make your, make your adjustments there again. If you have nothing to change, you can just go back up to the top, press exit, and you're back. Now the LED, LCD, I'm sorry, does stay on the whole time. You can turn it down if you if you need to dim it a little bit, but I like personally I like the fact that it stays on. The indicator lights here are very helpful. It's got the signal. It shows you when you're getting close to to the to the clip which is at -3 dB. It also show, has a limit light and then the clip so very, very useful, simple, but useful features. All right, I'm gonna take you down and show you the controls on the Sub-18. The Sub-18, kind of the same thing. Again, very solid, nothing to complain about as far as the build quality of this cabinet. Again, the steel grill on the front. I mean, this is gonna take some bumps and bruises for sure. And you got the 18 inch subwoofer in here and this is a thousand watt program on output on this sub. The sub is very similar in the way it's controlled. It's got the same sort of readouts here with your signal, your minus three dB, your limiter and your clip. It has your inputs and your outputs. It also has the same attenuator knob with similar settings and I'll take you through that, through those. And again, if you just twist it, it'll adjust the level. Push the button, takes you into the menu. And I'm really happy with the different, with the flexibility of this, of the options you have here for setting your crossover points. So you have, let me go all the way down to the bottom. You can cross this over all the way from 50, has 55, 60, 65, 70, <laughs> 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, and 105, and 110, 115, all the way up, my gosh, to 150. I don't think I've ever seen a sub that has this many presets for, for the crossover, which I can see this depending on the style of music you're doing or the type of cabinet you have. Having that flexibility in the crossover points will really just allow you to dial in the sound even that much more. For us, typically we keep ours around 90 to 100, but something I'm gonna look into when, we, when we're using these out at the gig. So going back to the LCD here, we'll just bring this back down to, we'll leave it at 100. It has a polarity switch, so if you wanna go 180 with these, you can do that. I'd be setting these up in a cardioid mode and we can have that discussion or argument later. <laughs> it's not something so much the sound couple does. Also has presets of preset one and preset two. This will take some getting looking into because what, what the preset one and the preset two does is it sets the output of the sub depending on the number of cabinets you're using. I grabbed the manual and what preset one states is full power output for the use with two or more CDL loudspeakers per subwoofer. Preset two, lower output for use with one CDL loudspeaker. From what I can tell, it's just an output 
change. And really, that to me is what the, the control for the level is. So I'm not quite sure. And then the only other thing that I'll say, the other comment about this is that unless you have the manual, you're not going to remember what that means. When we're at a gig, I'm not going to remember what preset one does or preset two. But it's there. We're going to look into this a little bit more, just giving you guys that information. A little bit of a confusing feature in my, in my opinion. Then moving on, you got the bright, the con contrast, and then the system reset. So if you don't want to just start it over, that's nice that they offer that. You can just push the button and reset the system. And then the system info, which I don't think will ever change. I think it's at firmware 1.0. And to my knowledge, there is no way to change this. So that is the back of the sub and the CDL-10P. I like simple, and this is intuitive. There's meaningful status lights. The menu is easy to operate. The only kind of thing that I like I said earlier, is that that program one and program two. Not sure what that's there for, but it's there. Overall, the design is, is very nice. The last thing I'm gonna show you is how we stack them and how the pins lock into stacking. Look at her go, all by herself, love it. Making sure they're even, this pin removes and these just slide up into place and then lock that way. Other side. And done. Simple as that. Hey Stacy, you over there somewhere? <laughs> I can hardly see you. Hey, the sexy part of the cabinet, the back part. But hey, everybody, I hope that this was helpful. We are just learning as well as you about these. If you're looking into buying these, we have more videos coming. We have a lot to learn, but we wanted to get some of this information out to everybody so they could at least start taking a look at them. We're going to be using them in gigs coming up here in the future. We got a couple of questions. We got some more things to, to learn about. What's really nice in this world, in today's world, is to get something that you can take out of the box, put it up, and, and just go with it. There's not going to be a big learning curve. And that's what you want in a cabinet. You know, you just want to put it up, and you want, them, you want to use it, and you want it to sound good. <laughs> and just based on the history with our CDLs that we currently have, these are just... A great line, I think, that is really going to help us out in our gigs coming up. And look at you. You stacked them all by yourself. I did. Yay. <laughs> so any concerns of that, yeah. you know, the people that this, again, is a great size, form size. The sub, I think, is always going to be a two-person job, maybe a mm -hmm. one-person job if you have casters and a ramp. In our case, we don't. So these are always be a two-person. So at 105 pounds, we're not, we're not concerned about it. Well, let us know if you guys have any questions. Mm -hmm. Like I said, we're still learning about them. If you have anything you want us to mention or talk about or look, take a look into, just let us know in the comments. And we always appreciate all of the comments, even though I don't like to say it and she says it, but it's true. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next video on the new Persona CDL 10 series.